Okay, so it's that time again to look at another sample question from the exam guide. And in particular, this is question number five that you'll find towards the end of the exam guide, which is available from the resources section of lecture one of this course. And you can also search for it by searching Platform App Builder Exam Guide from Google. And so this particular question reads that Universal Containers needs to set the record type for converted leads, account, contact, and opportunity based on the user who is converting the lead. And it's asking how would this be accomplished. And so if you were paying attention in the last lecture, you'll probably be able to figure this out. But I'm going to go ahead and read these for sake of completeness. So the first possible answer is to set the default record type for each profile for account, contact, and opportunity to the desired record type for converted records. The second option would be to set the default record types for each role for account, contact, and opportunity to the desired record type for converted Converted records. Option C is to set the master record types for each profile for account, contact, and opportunity to the desired record type for converted records. And then finally, option D is to set the master record types for each role for account, contact, and opportunity to the desired record type for converted records. You notice here that you need to choose one answer. So there's only one answer that is correct. And that correct answer would be A, to set the default record types for each profile for account, contact, and opportunity to the desired record type for converted records. You notice that a couple of other options that you can rule out are B and D that say to set the default record types for each role. And so here's a good example of how Salesforce tries to determine if you know the difference between profiles and roles. So as you're approaching questions on the exam, you can begin to start to at least hone in on the potential correct answers, knowing very quickly that this default record type is set at the profile level, not at the role level. So that really just leaves you with option number A or option number C on this question because they both are mentioning the profile. So really the only difference between A and C, as you notice, is that A says set the default record type and C says set the master record type. Now this is kind of a misleading question because it really just comes down to what the wording is in the interface. It says the default record type. It doesn't say the master record type. And so it's very confusing as well because when we create new record types from the start, it's based on a record type called master. And so this is really trying to trip you up to see if you know the difference between the two and what it's hinting at. And so the default record type would be that we saw previously when we were creating the different types of account record types. We had client and we had prospect. And then as well, if you recall, when we created the production record types for TV show, movie, and video game. And so you can set a default record type. And so I wanted to run through this sample exam question after having just done the assignment of the default record types. And I walked you through that exact scenario that is spelled out in question number five of the exam guide. And so if it doesn't make sense or isn't really clear, you feel free to uh, revisit the previous lecture and walk through the lead conversion process in your own organization and see and test it out for yourself to see if those default record types carry over whenever you convert a lead over into an account opportunity and a contact record. And so now in the next lecture we're going to get into pick list values and so stay tuned for creating pick list fields and record type implications.